So, what did it for you? Was it the crazy trailers? The incessant dubstep? No, probably not. It must be that adorably funny claptrap. Or maybe you were a fan of Borderlands 1. Anyway, the fact that you're watching this video means I'm guessing you've decided to pick up Borderlands 2. And if not, then hit the road, handsome Jack. Nah, I'm kidding. You can watch. Well, we've been lucky enough to plow some hours into the game already, so we figured it's only fair to impart some wisdom onto you guys in the form of some handy starting tips. Not that you need them, I'm sure you're more than capable of discovering the finer points of eviscerating everything in sight on your own. But hey, knowledge is power, right? Bend over and kill it. So, you want to be a badass vault hunter as quickly as possible, obviously. Well, make sure then that you pick a skill tree and run with it from the beginning. That way you'll get access to higher level skills sooner. Bear in mind though, in order to fully max out, you'll need to start from the beginning in true Vault Hunter mode. A second playthrough packed with brand new, extra difficult enemies raised to your skill level. In Borderlands 2, you're going to spend most of your time doing this. However, you're probably going to spend almost as long doing this. Constantly switching up your weapons is key to gaining the advantage over your enemies. Not to mention, mighty satisfying knowing you're using the best piece of kit for the murdering job. Bear in mind, however, you're likely to fill your inventory pretty quick. So to ensure you have room for all the future loot, sell and sell often. Use the handy junk designation in your inventory to mark items for quick resale. A word of advice though, don't get too attached to a weapon. Give it 10 minutes and you'll be casting your former love aside for some shiny new piece with more bells and whistles, you fickle monster. Barrels are everywhere and come in a number of flavors. Explosive, corrosive and electricity, to name a few. Use them, not just to deal extra damage to your foes, but because if you don't, it's highly likely that a stray enemy bullet will come a-knocking right when you're standing next to one. Oh dear. When an enemy bullet or exploding barrel sends you to the floor, you're given one last chance to save yourself. Dispatch an enemy while down and you'll get a second win kill. Pretty smart, huh? No, what's really smart is using this mode strategically. Letting a weak enemy strike you down can be a devilishly clever move if you're certain you can get that second win kill. You'll instantly get more shields and health than you would if you waited for any regen abilities to kick in. Dying during a mission is not a big deal. Checkpoints are frequent enough. However, beware of turning off your console mid-objective, as when you reload, you will spawn back at the beginning of the mission. If you're not careful, this can lead to playing through sizable sections and even boss fights over again. Guns are great and everything, but what's really great is a gun that sets people on fire, or zaps them with electricity, or corrodes them into a pile of acid. While you may always feel drawn towards those weapons with the highest damage or the largest magazine, remember that elemental weapons truly pack the most punch in Borderlands 2. Plus, some enemies are now impossible to put down without the correct elemental gun to take advantage of their one weakness. These little stat bonuses are awarded for completing challenges. Things like shooting 20 enemies from the hip with a sniper rifle, or setting 50 dudes on fire. You know, things that should be celebrated in life. Just remember to redeem them. They come thick and fast once you hit double digit levels. Shoot the helmet off a Goliath bandit and watch it rampage. Lead it towards your enemies and it'll do your dirty work for you. It will get stronger and stronger though, so be careful to run when it comes towards you. And if you can level it up to Godliath and kill it, you'll get an achievement. Final tip, play with friends. As fun as flying solo in Borderlands is, nothing truly brings people together like communal mass murder.